Hi everybody, hello, how are you? My name is Steve Bloom. I'm a practitioner, biophysiologist in exercise and nutrition. I'm also an asthma educator, a respiratory therapist, and then also in epidemiology, which is a study of public health. I'm here today to talk to you about your pulmonary issues in wellness. And when I say wellness, I, I want to kind of put forth some concepts or ideas. And the thing is, what is the most valued commodity that you have as a person myself who has breathing issues? I have asthma and sarcoidosis. And those are two breathing issues. And then, and I know how limiting it is. I know how difficult it is. And I wanted to ask, what is the most important thing to you? Because I know when I can't breathe, it's all about the breathing. It's all about how I feel. And I know that I get symptoms of, of fatigue or tiredness or shortness of breath or I start to get coughing fits or there's, there's issues that are going on. You just don't feel like yourself. You just feel off. You just want to get back to where you are. And when I say this, I also mean there's a nervousness or an anxiety that comes along with it. And also having uh, COVID-19. I've had long COVID-19 symptoms and I'm hearing from so many people out there the COVID-19 symptoms come from different arrays from breathing issues, neurologic, or we are, you can't taste things too. I mean, from, I mean, I'm seeing so many things that are coming in from long COVID uh, neurological issues where there's skin rashes or different things. And I just wanted to talk to you today and find out and I'd like to say, where can you be as to where you are right now? And where that can be, the most important thing is that I'm here to help you. That's my most valued commodity for me, is to help people, because I, I found a way to help myself. And these things are very hard to find, and it's very expensive, extremely expensive. I mean, for the years I went through school, for the years of being sick, for the years of paying insurance and then having to pay for all the medications having a breathing issue is an expensive disease and that's such a burden and it and I want to make it better for you I want to make a better life for you that I did for myself and I'm still working on it listen there's no secret behind it the secret behind better breathing and feeling better sometimes is hard work you have to be your own best friend and be kind to yourself and say, I can get through this. I can do this. Always say, I've got this because your subconscious is always talking to you. And it's whether you choose to listen to that person inside of you saying, I can breathe or I can't breathe. I'm scared. I'm afraid. And we have a lot of issues that go back from when we we're children to today. That mental mindset, that mental mindset, which we call the mindset factor. And I'm sure you've heard it on Million Mindset Coaches. And this is a big component, the psychological component. Because if someone said to me, what is it value to me for all these years? And I, I know this is a very odd and, and offbeat way of saying it, that someone said to me the other day, they said, how much would I pay to sit down and have dinner with my father again who's passed years ago. And I know it's a very shocking off thing to say. And I was like, what? And I said, I'd give anything, even if I don't have much. I Whatever it takes for me to spend five minutes with my father again, or my mother, or these people that I, are not in my life now, these are the values. This is how deep-seated it is that we want to take care of that person inside of us. So the point I'm getting to is that we find resources when we need to. And these are the resources we have to tap into ourselves. We must tap deep into ourselves to help ourselves. Now I developed a system, a system that helped me. And the system is that there are core secrets to it. And these core secrets are not big secrets, but it's simple little ones that are added up. And, and the thing that adds it up is that following them by a step-by-step -step approach, how to do it. Because we can go on I know everything.com 
And we can look these things up, but are we putting them together in the right way? Are we putting them together in a way that's going to help us feel better and be better and become that person that we want? And I know it's difficult. You ever see people go to the gym and work out? They exercise, and you see these people in the gym, and they look the same for the last two, three years. They haven't changed. Well, because they're not really following anything. You ever try to bake a cake and just go into the store and just, instead of, you know, you want to get the ingredients for the cake, and you can't just walk down the aisle and pick what you think you might want. Well, it might need flour. It might need sugar. It might need salt. It might, you don't know. And what it is is there's an ingredient that has to be put together before it's even cooked. And for us, I put together an ingredient that will help you that will help you grow, that will give you back what you want and what I want. And that is for better breathing, better health, better psychology as far as your mindset and overall getting back into the game, getting back to what you had. And the secrets are simple. Now I put a web class out there, but I am want to speak directly to you now. And I want to talk to you as far as the core secrets. And one secret is nutrition. But not just nutrition where you're counting, calorie counting, and blaming and shaming, oh, I ate this and that. No. It's about nutrition, about eating anti-inflammatory foods to keep you and sustain you for a longer life. And these foods, I'm sorry, I get very passionate about this, but these foods that you eat, that have anti-inflammatory properties don't happen in a minute. It happens over time. And it takes a while to actually develop this in a habit. And listen, when we go on, I don't like saying the word diet because it implies terrible things that, you know, uh, it's something temporary away. I call it an eating way of life. And I've adopted it. And it took me a while, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I still wanted to have my sweet things and eat and you can eat sweet things you can eat everything that you need but you need to eat the core part of an anti-inflammatory diet and you gradually get into it you don't just jump in and say I'm going out you know unless that's your personality you have to do and be kind to yourself like I said in the beginning it's the results that matter the other secret to doing this is not just it's what I'm doing right now. Breath work, breathing, exercising, but breath work, which breath work improves, and I'm saying breathing ways, ways to breathe that builds the diaphragm, that helps your breathing muscle, that helps you sustain better, that helps you with airway clearance if you develop mucus from different diseases that you might have, or if you get um, say COPD or asthma or sarcoidosis or interstitial lung diseases or long COVID. We get mucus so we need to be able to clear it out and we want to clear it out and keep it healthy and strong. So when if there is a problem you can go to some of these techniques like a simple technique to help you clear out the airway. And then there's other techniques that help you strengthen it. Now with that put together with nutrition, unbelievable. But I said, what else is there? Because now I've been weaker or I'm laying in bed or I'm not feeling well. Now comes movement, moving, sustaining your body, your muscles. It's about resistance and aerobic training. And I'm not saying aerobic or being extreme with your workouts or being extreme with anything. What I'm saying is you want to work in a way that you can keep your body sustained, building up muscle endurance, beating back osteoporosis, muscle strengthening for a core, your core meaning your stomach area or your balance in different areas for you that you can also work on your balance techniques and it has modules that are put together and then you get to the aerobic section where the aerobic is it's fun I thought what is it that I do that I like to do so I made it fun and when I say 